Hi guys, my name is Andrew, aka Mark Renton, and today I'd like to start a new session called Patch Notes, uh, where I'm talking about specific details of my productions and what I'm doing in my DAW and in my studio. Um, so today I would like to start with a filter comparison of my weapons of mass creation, my synthesizers. When I do something, I like try to um, play things on a specific synthesizer and then I of course compare it and see boy it sounds the best. And today I would like to give you some comparison with that. Um, by the way, I don't want to do signs. Uh, I also don't want to judge the sound. There won't be a final result. What is better, what is worse. It will be just be a comparison, okay? And of course, I need to mention my uh, latest EP that came out, the Signal Wave EP, uh, which is of course a hybrid production between outboard gear and in the box. Uh, what I've done there and yeah, there was done lots of filtering on all these sounds. So that's why it's especially interesting for that uh, What I'd like to compare today is um, Sasha expander. Uh, I really enjoy this thing because of course it's a wipeout soundtrack and uh, especially there's a heavily filtered um, unison lead sound with lots of delay in there so we try somehow to recreate it and again disclaimer I don't want to really rebuild it one by one, but I want to use it uh, for a filter comparison, okay? And the second thing, what I'd like to show you is X caps Engage. In there, there's such a unique filter sound that I enjoy already for 15, if not 20 years or so. And I'd like to show you how to build that sound. What we are going to compare is the Access Virus B that I have here. Uh, I've got the Nordlead A1 and the Serum, which is currently, I think, the best state-of-the-art uh, software synthesizer which is out there, although the others are software as well. They I mean they are virtual analog, but you get the idea. So hope you enjoy it. I've prepared the MIDI notes in here, so it's Sasha Expander, the best I could replay it on my own. Okay, I just give you the rough notes and I am sending this to the virus uh, straight saw sound. First thing what we are going to do is uh, yeah just add the decay right and the filter right so that it's more or less sounding what we know from the original sound. And by the way, to be able to compare the sound correctly, I love to use my favorite uh, reverb plugin, which is the Native Instruments Replica with the uh, diffusion algorithm. So let's look or listen to this. Adding some delay on top because the original is using heavily delay.
this reverb. really um, plays its best is the unison mode. So listen to this. Again, let us remove the filter stuff just to hear the rough sound. And tweak it a little bit. Again, I like to use the Moog filter. Yes, it's not comparable to the virus, but as I said, it's no science. You just try to do the best of the um, machine, what you can do. Let's head over to the last one, Serum. Thank you. 
what we can hear is um, the serum is, uh, in my ears at least, a little harsh in the high ends, but amazing unison mode, amazing filter, amazing everything. Uh, maybe some tweaking with the equalizer and so on would be too much for this video, okay? But um, I really like it, uh, what's possible with that. Okay, so this was uh, Sasha Expander rebuilt um, on these three synthesizers. And let us head over now to my second example, Xcaps Engage. Uh, so again, first on the virus, then on the Nord lead, and finally on the serum, okay? Adding some effects as before. Okay, then let's head over to the North Lead. Sorry, some effects.
to the Inkscape Engage originally. Okay, so let's head over to a blank serum. on this one but let us just try oh my god it's really amazing but uh, what i like even on the virus filter and of course the Nordly is uh, there's this kind of sweet spot here in the in the uh, bottom from the filter and um, it sounds amazing I'm not saying it's sounding wrong or something it's it's amazing yeah I'm just saying that the sweet spot for me is missing a little, little bit this is this is amazing especially because of the resonance sounds really similar to the original in my ears But here there's this kind of sweet spot missing for me. Yeah, it was there in the virus and the north lead that I could listen all day long. Yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the comparison. As I said there's no result or no better or worse or so. I just wanted to show you. I like to play around these sounds and tweak them and see and compare it on, on my machines I've got here. Of course, I have some more plugins and yes, some more keyboards and so on, but um, these are really, I think, worth the mention um, where you can, of course, hear some differences. And yes, I mean, there are way more syn synthesizer technologies. And um, yeah, so I uh, hope you liked the video and uh, let me know what else you would like to see uh, as a comparison or how I am doing things. And yeah, talk to you soon. Bye.